Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Evan Geyer. I'm campaigning for the Clackamas County Commissioner Seat 3, and to be honest, beyond. Clackamas County, Oregon has been my home for over 30 years. Creating something that is easier, quicker, and overly cautious to fix a problem can often cause other problems, and that is what I'm trying to fix. For example, the Gladstone slide. Kids could climb up and down the slide. This was back in the day when it was when the big tall metal slide. Kids could, could climb up and they could measure risk at a young age. And if they made a mistake, they could recover. That's just natural. People are going to make mistakes and we can't always base our decisions off of one or two mistakes. Because you look at when that slide was torn down or if you look at other instances around when people growing up, you can go to like um, high rocks and in high rocks you know people are jumping off of even higher distances and if they have that ingrained in them as a kid that they've climbed up that slide and they're afraid like I was they can learn and they know what they're getting into um, so that's ways to save lives um, and to be honest I jumped from high rocks and the slide was around when I was little and they removed it So, there's also an activity problem. Whereas someone who retires and expects and believes that they can live to over 100, so they plan for it. However, their planning causes them to save when they should be spending. So you retire, you're planning to live to 100 and beyond, and you save up all this money. But then because you're saving, you don't go out and do the things that allow you to live past 100. Because you're, you're just cooped up, you're staying places, you're not traveling, you're not, you're not going to, um, like, you know, Willamette View Idol. You're not, um, you're not, like, going to other retirement places or other villages and interacting with people in different situations because we're so focused on saving money and then we don't do anything and that affects our health. So... The activity problem, we can address it through, you know, local government. You have the uh, residence council, um, which I've, I've heard about um, through people um, at Willamette View. And we can work together on that. And we can actually, you can think of things and do things like casino night. You know, if you don't want to gamble, you can do just for prizes. Um, you know, invite churches over for skits and stuff. We've done that. And get things going and create some sort of model that you can actually export maybe potentially to the rest of the country almost like a franchise or something and make money off it there's so many opportunities and when we can reevaluate risk and what risk means for a better life because change changes hard So the other thing I want you to do, if you're listening in, if you have critiques, um, if you go to a commissioner meeting, you know, speak up. Let us know what we're doing wrong. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, okay? And make me aware. Because, and not only, so you make me aware, and I will propose a plan to help keep the counselors and politicians accountable. It might just start at the the um the commissioner's level but it could expand just like these other ideas you know why not put the commissioners on some kind of commission you know based on the bills um and you know i have a plan to do that and it will hold them accountable my website is at www.evan.wiki um and that's just some of my ideas you know there's i'm getting all these People who want to interview me, and it's different ideas here, different ideas there. You know, hopefully we can create some sort of partnership and we can move forward on the big ideas, which in general are not creating something easier, quicker, and overly cautious. You know, if you know what you're doing and you've got it all down, you can do that. But that is not the plan for everybody. Okay, see you and talk to you later.